Right folks, well, today me and Sophie are headed out to um, Lower Austria. Mm -hmm. We've come to have a look around the Branta factory. Yeah. So we've got Ben here, who's a <laughs> whole UK agent for Branta trainers and Musmax Butchipers. And we've got Reiner from right. Branta itself. He's going to show us around, these boys are going to show us around and basically take us through the process and see what's what. So let's make a start, shall we? Yeah. We go in this right. building. Yeah. This is the where they cut the steel out with the lasers. This is the first process of building a trailer. So you've got your sheet steel all stacked up. A lot of sheet steel. That machine there is a laser for cutting out box section. Holes, cutting it into lengths like this. So that's all done by laser. Then these machines are sheet steel lasers, so they just cut out flat discs or flat parts. Brandon do lots of different size trailers, so from yeah. a wheelbarrow <laughs> right up to the all the way up to a 60 cube triaxle tipping trailer or push off trailer. I'll tell you what, it's warm enough here today. Oh. <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> oh, <dear. clears throat> There's the good old renegade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the machine itself. What a beauty. <laughs> it really is. Oh, that is our wagon for Austria. <laughs> that's, uh, that's our machine yep, for the trip. That's that what's is... getting us around. Should we jump in and drive up to... Yeah, we might as well. So no, no point walking. Yeah. When, we got, when we got the wheels. When we got the whip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Traffic jam. It's basically. <laughs> Forklifters watch his little steel or metal. Or oh, I scratched the renegade. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Push off trailer. Watch the wee man on the forklift. <laughs> we have arrived. Do you really need like golf buggies around here <laughs> or something? <laughs> Everybody, every staff member here has bikes and that's how they get about. And we didn't get the memo, so <laughs> cheap it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got to do the walking. Yeah. Where are we heading to now, Ben? So this building now is where a lot of the welding's done. Yeah. So you've seen where they cut the steel out. This is where they put the bodies together. Shot blasting plants over there. This is all stacked up in front of us now, ready to go in the shot blaster. What do you think? It's unreal. <laughs> you, go, you come in here and it's just a vast. Yeah, it is. But you don't know where to look because there's that no. going on. <laughs> These machines up here are automatic welders. The man places it into position, tacks it together, and then the robot welds it all together. Perfect welds, all done by robot. So these machines do the majority of the welding then? Yeah, majority of it's done by robot now. There is, There are some special parts that they still weld by hand. Yeah, they've got a lot of stations to our left now, you'll see. That's all hand welding. There's a man in there, look. This is a robotic right. welder, another one. This is brand new two years ago. So it's got two heads for welding. That makes all the side panels for push-off trailers. As you've seen earlier, it is quick. This is where, this is sort of like the mid-term. <laughs> yeah. You know, you've got new chassis here waiting for bodies. The great big forklift there. <laughs> Push trailers, off trailers down there. <laughs> Ready trailers. Watch you don't get run over like this one time. She's big. Whoa, she big. How long was her? I was about to say that. <laughs> this is where all the spare parts are kept ready for production. So parts get picked every morning for uh, two days in advance. They keep on building trolleys up and kits up for trailers so they don't have to go too far. Each one of these trolleys has got the parts on for one trailer. 
Wow. And then when they're all gone, the trailer's complete. So everything, yeah. These are all Powerflex chassis, well, axles and dollies waiting for the chassis to be brought down off the line and yeah. constructed. Never ending. Pardon? Parts everywhere. It's like when you were a kid and your parents took you to Ikea. The racks that you saw in the other shed are over here now. They've been through the painting process, which we'll see a bit of a glimpse of in a minute. These are all sat waiting. Some have got pipe, air pipes on and started to be constructed into trailers. It just depends how far down the line they are. There's some more trolleys, different trailers and different bits. More chassis. Did you push bikes? Look, there's the bikes, see? Everyone's got a biker. I'm on a biker. So, here's some side panels off a push-off trailer. They're built as a complete side, bolted onto the chassis. Wow. It is massive here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a robot that transports the racks from the first shed we went into. Shot blasted material over here, and then it gets them put up into the painting process. Yeah. How long does it take them to piece one of these together then, Ben? Uh, well, if you <laughs> like, stood here long enough, you'd see one come out every 45 minutes, start really? to finish, yeah. They're putting a few out a day then? <laughs> yeah, just a few. Wow. This trailer's waiting for its side panels to be put on. That was probably a chassis like you saw 20 minutes ago. Yeah. And there's the one in front that they've just made. <laughs> yep. The one that's just come out the... Uh... <laughs> Literally. We were walking Gosh. around and it's, now it's completely assembled. Yeah. There's a paratube. Um, the body on a paratube is one complete piece of steel from side to side, all the way through. Fold down silage sides so you can go from grain to silage in... 15 minutes. Wow. <laughs> Half pipe dump trailer for um, stone and soil. So there's literally every type trailer, of trailer yeah. for every application. These are just something else for strength. Yeah. Hardox body, half pipe. You've gone down to the next bit or you're worn out now? <laughs> Here's the body I was telling you about on a paratube. So it's one piece of steel from there, right round, back up, no welding, complete piece. Wow. Yeah. So here's the parts that you saw from the shot blasting, come over to the shed, ready to go across there and up into the painting system, wow. which hopefully the gate's open and we can sneak in there and go and have a look. <laughs> oh. Fresh Bit air. <laughs> There's the whip. So we've done a full circle back to the oh. Renegade. <laughs> oh, dear. So now we've come into the painting area. Um, there's an eight stage cleaning process that goes on before there even one bit of paint gets on the chassis and steel work. So you've seen them being shot blasted. These tanks up the side of us filled with acid or certain different things for cleaning. And this crane you saw a minute ago picks the materials up, drops them in the bath, leaves them in there for a certain amount of time, back out into the next one, another one with something else in there. We'll go up the stairs and you can see a bit more of a view how vast it is. Ooh, so here's some parts. Toasty up here. Oh really toasty. <laughs> <laughs> There's parts sat on them frames again that you saw. So the cranes come along, hook onto which one that they need, across into a bath, back along again. Like you can see how big the paint system is. Um, it's cost brand new nearly 30 million pounds. The tanks that they dip these the steel work in, you can actually get two Brantner bodies in endways, it's that long or one 40-foot chassis. Now you're starting to get into acids. 
Here's the crane lock picking that frame up out of the tank, Tom. Oh, yeah. Nice so what's the pull. next process for this one now then, Ben? Uh, this, is, this is just having a bit of a wash in water. We get drained, and then it should go on into the primer then. Another one flying along now. Pick something else up. And these just work all day, moving things. Yeah, fully Putting automatic. Putting things where they're supposed to be. Yeah. From one process to the next, on again. This one's going to go and pick something else up now. Who knows what it is? <laughs> Here's your black uh, primer paint. That is insane. Yeah. That's that is crazy. This is the start of your electric start, uh, electric charge painting system. So you can't go in there because you've got positive and negative charge from steel to paint to make the paint stick to the it's steel work. It's forbidden. There's some just come out of the paint there now. We're going across. Now we'll go down into the. Oven. I think it's going to drop it down there. Yeah. Uh, drop it down, and then yeah. the oven door should open. And then it, it just in. goes on. And it goes in there and yeah. Kind sir. <laughs> <laughs> you see your trailer starting to get its sides now? Yeah. We've only been what five minutes? And everything just sitting yeah. there waiting All for them to up, use. Ready for the next day or the day after. Amazing. Your one panel's disappeared off your push-up train oh, already. Yeah. That was there two minutes ago. That was ago. there no, five gone. minutes ago. <laughs> gone. <laughs> so these parts have been painted. They've been in the oven. Uh, yesterday when we came in here, Tom and Sophie couldn't believe how much heat was coming off the parts. Like it was like a barbecue. Yeah. yeah. So now the kiln door's opening. And these parts you saw come out of the paint. We'll now go in there just to be baked now. Wow. Again, fully automatic. What's the heat in there? What's the temperature? Hot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can feel it degrees here. is it in there? About 200 degrees. Yeah. We need 200 degrees for the... It's like your oven temperature. You've got a turkey in there. I was about to say. <laughs> Roast chicken. <laughs> so if you look here, Tom, you've actually got three trailer bodies, one on one rack, to just give you an idea of how much you can get in one tank lengthways on. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is humongous. Look at all the cranes. I know. <laughs> I think that's the thing that's like catching me the most about in here is just everything up in the air just working away. It's insane. Oh, uh, yeah. And it all knows where it's supposed to be. Yeah. And what it's got to do. Yeah. It's going. <laughs> wow. Up here, you get to the second stage of the painting. Uh, you've got the powder coated machine. That was brand new uh, about 18 months ago. So instead of wet paint, they powder coat the final material in whatever colour. It's easy to change colours, you just change a bag of powder, flush the system through, it's powder coated, back out, across with the robot, into the oven, baked, perfect paintwork. So this is the one of the paint booths, there's two of them here. And most of it gets powder coated now, but if they've got bodies that can't fit through the powder coater, in here, and then the man gets up in these little dillies <laughs> up down and round and yeah there's the side off your uh, yeah. push off trailer so this is a power push that's a power push that's the side that we saw hung up a minute ago it's now looking like a trailer so we'll go and find the whip and jump back in jump back in and Where go for another us next? surprise <laughs> there she is glistening in the sunlight absolute wagon <laughs> Oh, I'm at the other side. I keep forgetting it's a left-hand drive. Yeah, I know. 
You should have like company ice cream oh. for like days like this, you know? <laughs> yeah, yes, we have, but well, uh, uh, ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> huh? But but only for uh, really important. <laughs> Whoa. The really you important said, workers, you know, oh, so that, the, <laughs> that the production doesn't stand still. <laughs> I thought you were going to go in the lineup, no? Well, I didn't want to embarrass the renegade. <laughs> right, so we'll go in what's called the old part of the Brantner factory, where yeah. they do the pressing. They, so this um, is before we get to... This is before we get to the automatic yeah. welders. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is where they form and fold and yeah. fusion the plates together. It's uh, a lot lower and a lot darker of a building. So you've got your raw materials that have been cut out with your laser. They get formed into components for trailers. Everything's all got a place, even in the old bit. A lot of it's bar uh, barcoded, tagged up, numbered. So this is where your presses are, Tom. So your bits that have been cut out, with your laser. So that started out as a flat piece of material. Now it's got the curve in for the side panel for a trailer. This press here, Tom. You can see the size of this piece of steel. Comes from a flat piece with profile cuts to a fully formed bottom piece of a body. Like to get, to get that length of material to fold, you need a big machine. Do you want to see something really old, Tom? <laughs> Older than Go on me. <laughs> One of the originals? Yeah, this is one of the original trailers we're going to have a quick look at now. Ah, oh, there's is where an original it started, trailer. Was it? <laughs> Man used to sit on the seat for brakes. Uh, oh. That is cool. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah. <laughs> From 1975. Oh yeah. You see. He's old. <laughs> Older than me. Older than you. <laughs> Guys, thanks for letting us no. come around. Thank you. And uh, showing us about. It's long walk home now. <laughs> long journey home. Yeah, long journey home. <laughs> um, so I'm sure that we'll uh, be able to catch up again at some point. Then we will uh, come out and revisit you. Yes. When you've got one out, out and about, maybe. Yeah, and you're more than welcome to try one of the power pushes yeah yeah get, get one out to the guys yeah, yeah. and uh, try one out see what they think of it yeah definitely that'll be cool that'll be super cool <laughs> so right cheers guys thank you